everyone and welcome back. Watching a few things in the extended forecast heading into tomorrow. Temperatures start off nice. Tomorrow's actually going to be the warmest day through the extended forecast before snow showers develop for the second half of the day, continuing into our Saturday. Some scattered light snow leading to some areas of accumulation, primarily east of the Red River. We're going to talk about that in just a second, and we'll have the latest updates on the cold air mass that's arriving the middle to latter part of next week, where some areas could have wind chills as low as 30 to 40 degrees below zero. But for tonight, nice little change of pace. We're going to see temperatures warming up here over the next couple of hours. So by the time you head to bed this evening, temperatures likely to be around one to three, maybe four degrees warmer than where we are right now. By tomorrow morning, we'll be coolest up in northeastern North Dakota. Temperatures in the teens, but in the Southern Valley, we're going to be close to that 30 degree mark with overcast skies. Light wind can't rule out some patchy areas of light fog. Heading into the afternoon, temperatures warming up into the 20s and even some 30s in the Southern Valley. Still a little chillier up to the north and west. Then the snow showers begin to develop by mid afternoon, widely scattered into your evening commute time for your Friday. Looking to see widely scattered snow showers continue through Friday night and into Saturday morning. A few more snow showers continue through Saturday morning before eventually exiting to the east by early to mid afternoon. And it's followed with a stronger northwesterly wind. So going to see a cooler and wind chillier day on Saturday. As for those snowfall amounts, expecting in this very, very light shade of blue here, a trace to maybe upwards of an inch. The light blue, an inch to two inches, but those amounts ramping up from the east or from the west rather to the east. So likely to see around an inch for places like Grand Forks to Fargo, closer to the two inch mark, Detroit Lakes, Roseau, higher amounts as you head towards uh, Baudette. Looking at temperatures now, the next couple of days up through January 10th, next Wednesday, Temperatures still expected to be pretty close or even above average, and then we see plummeting temperatures next week. Looking at the trend for Fargo after that transition day next Wednesday, high temperatures going to be in the single digits with wind chill values, teens and 20s below zero. And I want to point out that these are midday wind chill forecast numbers, so likely to be even colder in the morning when we see our, our lowest temperatures for the day. And again, some places seeing those wind chills 30 to 40 degrees below 24 degrees right now here in Fargo feels like 14. 22 in Grand Forks feels like eight temperatures are generally in the teens and 20s with overcast skies. Now putting it together for your extended forecast, we still have some time to enjoy with those milder temperatures before that cold air mass arrives. Justin, the important thing that you mentioned out earlier was that the extended forecast, like the climate forecast is still above average yeah, for the rest of this winter. Better. So yes. hopefully this is not too long of a cold snap. We'll see. Thanks, Summer. Still ahead at six. Spending less, creating budgets. Should New Year's resolutions help people with their finances? We have some other tips to help you stick to your goals.